far as it goes, you said, you said, this race is over, and pretty much Ronga's just got it sewn up. I mean, did you dare to dream and think the GC might be on at a certain point in the last 15 k Um, I mean, it was, it was in the back of my mind, I'll be honest, once the gap started going out a little bit, but, uh, I was actually just focused on the on the stage win. I mean, uh, I'm not sure exactly what the gap got out to in the end, but I knew once on, once we, I got onto the downhill, um, the gap would always come down just because I, I'm a smaller guy, not not as, not as much weight to carry down the hill. Um, and then yeah, just happy with the stage win really. Which was the harder time trial this week, the one you rode on Wednesday or the one you rode in last week's UK today? Yeah, this one by by a mile. <laughs> Um, yeah, a bit of everything, I think. Um, I mean, end of a very hard week. It's been a hard Pyrenees. And uh, the conditions today made it even harder. Um, I think uh, I was I, I was happy that I've also already done a, uh, a Pyrenees final stage in the rain already. Just to just to know where to be and uh, you know, a bit of experience of, of, of positioning um, for the technical Ds and stuff like that. So um, I think that helped today. We started to talk about these Slovenians and they're completely bulletproof for Alcar and Roglic. It was unbeatable. But did you see some signs of weakness today? And is that why you attacked when you did? Um. No, I actually attacked just a bit of a, uh, just to see. I was, like I say, I was only really thinking about the stage win. And I didn't really know. I mean, I was never going to beat those guys in a sprint, so I had to try from afar. Um, and I wasn't sure that it was going to work when I, when I first started, so. Um, yeah, maybe I'll have to try more often. Uh, I think it showed today. I think it showed today that, uh, I mean, he, he also, I mean, I don't know how long he was running for, maybe 60k or something on his own, basically. So, uh, and he was still close to me in the final. So he's obviously got great legs and uh, I'm sure he'll be good in the races coming up. They did it. They played it well for Primoz. Yeah, I mean they, they they had a good race. I mean all week they've been there as a team. I mean not I mean not to give them too many compliments, but uh, already in the and I was alone there in, in the final and they had still four guys there at one point. So uh, chapeau to them, congratulations, and uh, yeah, that's it.